Welcome to another Singularity of the Day. In this episode, we're going to take a look at SolidWorks Inspection and the two user interfaces, the standalone application and the SolidWorks add-in. Now, in the standalone application, once we've created a new project, opened up a PDF or TIFF, we're ready to get started. Let's go ahead and define a couple project properties, such as the part name. We're able to utilize the optical character recognition software and just box select what we're interested in. Notice how it fills in these properties for us. So I can continue along until I have all the information I need. And of course I can enter some of this manually. But from here we can go to the drawing tab and specify our dimensions, geometric tolerance values, surface finish, really anything that we may need to capture. And from here, again using the OCR, it captures the information about these dimensions. Automatically creating the balloons. So really, creating this inspection document takes minutes. And once I have all the information I need, I'm ready to create my first article of inspection report. I just have a couple clicks. First off, I can output what I've just made to a PDF. But for the report, I can generate this in Microsoft Excel. Specify the template I'm interested in and click Export. From here, as you can see, I get a list of the ballooned dimensions with their upper limit and lower limit calculated for me. So I can then specify my results and complete my report. Now what's very nice about SOLIDWORKS ins inspection is that it integrates right with your SOLIDWORKS CAD tool. So with an existing or new SOLIDWORKS drawing, I can create a new project from here. In a similar fashion, for specifying the part number, I can actually link this to custom properties. And of course, modifying these is just as simple. Once I have those basic properties defined, I can then go in through the options and specify what are the settings for the information I want to extract. Dimensions, notes, GDTs, pull callouts, welds, surface finishes. Specify the tolerance settings and click OK. It'll go through automatically balloon these different items on the multiple sheets that I have and give me a nice characteristics tree on the left hand side. So again I can print this out to a PDF, print it to my printer, but of course I need to create my report. So I can again specify my template and generate that Excel spreadsheet. So and of course, since this is Microsoft Excel, we can use conditional formatting to highlight any values that are in and out of range. So as you can see, in just a few minutes here, I've been able to balloon my drawings and generate my first article inspection reports, again, in a matter of minutes rather than hours or days. Hope this helps you get started with SOLIDWORKS inspection. Have a great day.